Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to another video. Thank you very much for the support recently. We've just hit 1000 subscribers, so big up to yourselves. Thank you for being involved in this journey. Uh, today's video is focusing on Lucas Moore. He's been given a player moments card, which has caused a bit of controversy on Twitter, in the Twitch chat. Um, mad expensive, but everyone knows I'm a, I'm a massive Arsenal fan. I don't touch Spuds players, so we are in Tezel's account whilst we talk about this card and reveal, open the packs, etc. This was his moment, his epic moment against Ajax, um, celebrating the comeback against Ajax with his hat trick. I believe it. Was it a hat trick or was it just one player? One goal. I think I, I can't, I don't even care, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even care. But yes, he. you require six sections of this. Initially, I was thinking, okay, Lucas Moura, we all know that he's very OP, he's got good links. But then when I saw there were six options, I was thinking, right, how how have we started? The first section is 86 86. So then I'm thinking, this has got to be mad expensive. So you do need two 86s, you need two 187, 188. 289s for this it's so expensive it's unreal the only thing i can imagine when you see a card this expensive is that it's going to perform like the best card in the game and i feel like when it's this expensive you just don't need to worry about how it's going to perform in game um saying that this late stage of the game i'm pretty i'm pretty i'm pretty annoyed to be honest that ea would uh, even even me i'm annoyed even though i'm not interested in doing this card i'm not interested in this card and i'm annoyed so for people that have had to fork out at this late stage of the game with all the you know big SPCs that have been coming out coming out coming out battering people's coins and clubs either way we'll talk about the card it does look pretty good I'm going to put my neutral hat on when we do talk about it um let's look into the card so it's 93 rated 98 pace 95 dribbling 93 shooting 85 passing 81 uh, physical four star five star right footed high medium 5-9, so pretty OP, pretty uh, meta for this um, for this game either way, and those stats are pretty insane, you know, so um, looking at his attribute, um, in-game stats are are silly, they're pretty silly, you know, um, pace 99, and uh, acceleration 99, sprint speed 94, um, attacking position 96, finishing 96, shot power 93, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing is with the passing, I guess you might want to because the dribbling's 95. His agility and balance is 99, 99. Dribbling's 96. Um, Summer's 93, which is decent as well. I, I wouldn't know what you'd want to do with this card. Would you want to absolutely max his shooting and balance, put a sniper on him, or would you want to take care of the passing? I think passing, as the game gets on, it's more important. People used to say strikers are not important. With, with, with It's not important to have passing improvements on strikers they just need to finish this game has so much bs in there i think every single assist helps every single perfect threaded pass i think is really really vital um its traits are flair speed dribbler to be honest with you how expensive this card is this should have way more traits than this but you know we won't say any more on that so um yeah it's pretty decent the requirements in full as i say uh, where are they where are they Let's open it up. So I've give, obviously given the um, the ratings. Um, you need a team of the week or a team of the season in one, in two, in three. So yeah, quite expensive. Anyway, as I say, we're in Tezel's account. Um, let me know where you guys would consider using him. Would you put him up front? Would you put him in cam? Would you put him on the wing? Be interesting to see what you guys um, what you guys say. Leave it in the comments below. Um, so, as I say, we're in Tezos account. He's done all of them apart from one, which is the 86, which requires one Spuds player. All right, so we're in... in this is the team for the 86. Um, he's got an interesting Muller card. I didn't even know he had a man in the match. And have it. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll submit this. Rare players pack. One thing I didn't mention was the packs. My bad. I believe they're all tradable. Tez, can you confirm this whilst we're loading in that it is all tradable? It must be. It has to be. It has to be. So this is the walkout. Tez is a massive Spuds fan. If he puts an Arsenal kit on him, it'll be banter. But you know what? We'll give him respect for the Bob Marley kit. GG to EA on that. Um, I'll be honest with you. This is for the video. I am so desperately wanting to skip this animation. You do not understand how much I don't want to see this. Because I absolutely hate Spuds. 
but we appreciate Tez coming in, giving us access to this card, opening the packs. Um, discard? Almost, almost. <laughs> um, so he says two are untradeables. From the 89 rated are untradeables. Two, the 89 rated squads, both of them are untradeable. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, man. Anyway, enough ranting. Let's open them. Hopefully, with how expensive these are. I would love to know and find out if EA would turn up pack weight on packs directly from a Lucas or a Play of the Month Messi, Play of the Month Neymar. You know, you, you know what I mean? I don't think I should be able to do go and get a Jumbo Premium Gold Players pack from a League SBC and have the same pack weight capabilities as Tez has on that pack. I don't know. It'd be interesting to uh, hear what you guys think about that. Nothing in the first one. I want to see at least one walkout. And when I say a walkout, I mean boost gets minimal. Um, Paderborn player. Paderborn CDM. So at least it's OP on the silver. That's a nice little, uh, it's little something. Jumbo premium golds. Come on. Come on. This is a boards at least. It's a walkout. Those flares look mad bright, but it's it's only it's a Belgian flag. It's going to be a Spuds player. Yeah, Tez is going to have a lot of fun in the chat right now. There we go. Let's. Uh, I can skip that one. I'm safe. I can. I'm safe to skip that. <laughs> we get Martinez as well. So so far so good. And quite a lot of fodder. This is the untradeable pack. This is one of them anyway. I will. Quickly <laughs> sort out your dupes for you. And make sure you... Just, it's just good not to be lazy, really. It's good to keep stuff in the club where you can. There we go. That one can't be. That one can be. Okay, let's move on. Hopefully we don't get a, a dupe problem like that for the remaining ones. I'm feeling a blue in here. As everyone knows, um, Tots is out. Here we go, another boards. Come on. It's a blue, but it's not a Tots, but it is a walkout blue. Could this be another... What is going on here? This Okay, so this, for me, this is too coincidental. This is too coincidental for me. This is ridiculous. I've had to sit through. Doing the Mora card is painful for me to do a review for the YouTube channel. I'm, I'm not going to lie. For the only walkouts to be spuds. No, don't put the thumb down, please. Stop. Stop. This is actually painful. This is actually painful. <laughs> okay. GG, Tez. Look, let's let's talk about it and just as what it is. We've opened four packs. Two of them have been walkouts. Actually, we've opened three packs. Two of them have been walkouts. And we've done from worst to, to the best. So in terms of what Tez has paid... For this is great. Another boards in here. Not a walkout this time. So in terms of what he's paid in, which is very expensive, it, it's doing its best. It's doing its best to pay him back. Which is which is amazing. Right, we got a mega pack and then a rare players. So two boards two walkouts are ready. We haven't even opened these. Mega pack, can you do anything? Of course you can't. You're the worst pack in the game. Absolute worst pack in the game. I can't believe how many Spuds players have just been spat out of me. It's actually quite... Uh... Yeah, I might have to take a moment after this video just to contemplate my thoughts. Anyway, last pack. Rare players from the Lucas Mora. Player Moments SBC. It ends on a non-board. So it, that's quite funny, to be honest. Um, it's not funny at all, but you know what I'm saying. It's, it's quite ironic um, that that's what the best packs do. But yeah... That, that was decent. A good return. You get a board in there. So yeah, guys, let me know what, what you think about the SBC. First of all, your initial reaction. What do you like? Hell no. Not touching that. It's way too late. It's it's June in two days' time. Why would I use all that fodder when I can use it elsewhere or sell it, you know? So I'll be interested to see how many of you have actually done him. Let me know uh, what position you use him in, what uh, chem style you put on. And uh, I think that's it for now. So... Please do hit the like button, subscribe button, and uh, until next time, peace.